So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. If f of x equals 2x squared minus 4 and g of x equals 2 to the x, the value of g of f of 1 is what? Okay, so this is a composite function. There's two ways to do this. You could work out what the composite function is by actually putting f into g and getting that symbolically in terms of variables and then substituting 1 into that result. But it's probably easier to just find f of 1 straight away and then get that result and plug it into g. That's what I'm going to suggest here because if, if they're asking us g of f of x, we sort of have to plug it in. You know, we have to work with the two functions uh, in their variable forms. But since they want an actual number, let's just find f of 1 first, get that answer, and plug that into the g function. So f of 1 is 2 times 1 squared minus 4, which is 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. And then we'll just find g of negative 2, which is 2 to the negative 2. Anytime you raise a number to a negative exponent, that's 1 over 2 to the same positive exponent, which is uh, 1 over 2 squared, which equals 1 over 4. And c is the best choice. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.